And we're back. I'm going to finish the game, as Claire anyway. Clear. I'll just do uh, Leon some other day. Maybe when I have no job and have the time to spare. <laughs> what, are you going to quit soon? Um. Leon, you made it. We are now officially within two weeks of me quitting. And after that, it's another four weeks. Where are you? I can see you on the monitor. All employees, but never mind that right now. Leon, you have to go back and get Sherry for me. I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. Is this like the first time we've seen Leon in a while? Or... I'm counting on it's you. the first time you see Leon since uh, they meet the first time to talk about Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I wasn't the one who just started fucking running ahead, was I? <laughs> Combined all the herbs. Oh, one more. So you're pretty pretty close to quitting your job, huh? Yeah. It's not like I've been, I have been planning this for like six months. That's true. So I assume it'll be like within the next month or so. Yeah, I'm handing in my notice on the 19th. Well, <laughs> you actually have a date set, okay. Yeah, and then I shall... Well, that means I'll be leaving the day before my birthday. The day before what? My birthday. Uh, two weeks. Well, it'll be four weeks. Well, I have to hand in my notice and then I have to work my notice, which is for another four weeks on top of that. Huh. So six weeks until. And then I can possibly even finish Dragon Age. I also realized that for, uh, do I, yeah, yeah, I didn't care enough. I forgot to do the, uh, the thing in the same hall that Annette was even in. I got sidetracked with finishing the game. What thing did you miss? The, uh, computer to, that, that notice was for the 24 hour username guest thing. It's not terribly important, but you know, I might as well. It's a good thing this timer isn't like actually, you know, you have to. A legit time. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a warning right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I think it's dead. Yep. Seem spiders are lickers. Just uh, a giant moth for some reason. Oh, why the fuck not apparently? <laughs> Virtually no reason for it, but. Other than, like, well, I guess we'll throw this in. I remember the day it dawned on me, like, I realized, when I realized why they have announcements continuously going like that. It's like, eventually you'll go just to get away from it. Because it makes it still a pretty effective alarm. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this shit. Clover. <laughs> Let me guess, you're hungry. And cat's just staring up at me like, uh, yes. Why wouldn't I be hungry? I am perpetually hungry. Leon can get whatever's in that room. I forget what it is. I think all it is is like another submachine gun. is awfully quick. <laughs> Cat walked out of my room and then promptly tripped. Watching a cat trip, pretty hilarious. Is the blue vaccine good? Yep, I have to go get the uh... I have to go put it in the other thing. So I can get the purple vaccine. Alright, I guess I should call it the legitimate vaccine. Science, everybody. 
no naked zombies. That's how you can tell they're tougher is because they're naked. They don't have all those troublesome clothes to reduce their their defense, I guess. Where do those zombies even come from? So there's pretty much no place they would have could have could have spawned from. Shrug vents. <laughs> you got the thing. So important that it has its own inventory slot. Next time on Radical Bromance, the end of the game. It's actually gonna happen. We're gonna do it, we're gonna make it happen. And then presumably you can go to bed. Or play some, yes. play, play some video games before you go to bed. No, just bed now. No time for that. 